afternoon, everybody. How's things? However, I am on uh, Leslie's phone today because, as we know, our tiles never stop. So uh, as soon as my account's been sorted, as it's been uh, hacked for some reason, then uh, we'll we'll be back on track and doing uh, as normal. So here we go. We're at tile two hundred and thirty-six, uh, and yeah. 29th of April. So what we're we going to be doing, I've got a, uh, a blue tile. This is at the Sorbet pack, just in case you wanted to know, but you could use any colour that you want to. It's not a problem. Um, and of course, we've got a regular pen. I've got my, uh, there you go, my 03 there. I've got my pencil, my tortillon, and I've got some pastel pencils here as well, just in case. So everything's all good to go. We're all uh, ready. I know a real good clean up today, just to make sure we're all ready for classes tomorrow. So going to be fantastic so, all right ready so i'm going to sort of come in i'm going to come in with a pencil to start with because i know how, how sort of nervous we get when i wanted to draw larger curves so here we go oh it's lovely to speak to you all i've felt a little bit out of it i must admit there's uh, no access to anything but uh, it'll be fine i'm sure okay so I don't want to start in the middle today. I'm going to start towards one end here. And what I want to do is put inside. Let's have a look. I'm going to put, let's go back here, a rather large bubble. Now, it doesn't matter if it's round. It doesn't matter if it's slightly oval. It's absolutely fine. And, of course, you could use a, a something to draw around if you wanted to as well. There we go. Oh, hello, everybody. Hello from Michigan. Hello, Chris. Oh, Chris, yeah, I've, I think we've had a, we've packed an order for you today. I recognise that name, I'm sure. There we go. All right, bit of a bubble. Once you're happy with it, or shall we now? Let's do it this way first. Let's do a, a slightly wide or a sort of shape here. And then work my way around it. Okay. Oh, it's gone a little bit wide there. That's a good job we did that bit in the pencil. Taking my time then. There we are. A bit of a pencil line in there. Okay. Alright. All right. <laughs> oh, sorry, Nadia. Do you know sometimes I know it confuses things? I have no idea what page I'm on. I'm not even on my own phone. So, <laughs> there we go. I've split up my space. You see, I did my 12 and 6, 3 and 9, and then I've split this into two. And what I'd like to do as well, and uh, I'm going to split the space even more, okay? So I've got all these little spaces. Oh, let's go. There we are, okay? Maybe it looks a few too many there, maybe I'll ignore one. There we are. Okay. As long as I've got a few in, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, Sue, I'm sorry about that. I don't know. Tile swaps, once they go into the post box... I have no control over them, so I don't know, but yeah, I'm sure it'll arrive. Somebody's arrived quite late on, didn't it? So there's still hope. Okay, coming in with a... What I'm wanting to do is I'm going to cross a diagonal. Let me go a little bit larger so you can see it. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to go across like this. And then same here. You see? each one at an angle there we go just sort of gonna follow it around now of course you've only drawn elements in so there we go so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a, a curve between the two here one here and here And continue round with this little sort of curve shape each time. Yeah, I think the uh, the connection seemed to go a bit of a ride then for a moment. I thought, here we go again, but no, it's all good. So please don't think I've ignored you the last uh, 24 hours. I haven't, and I still can't get on. I think it's 72 hours they've said before it gets reset. So. So there's my curves. Oh, hello from New York. The weather's good there. It's good here. So I'm going to put now. I'm going to put curves on the top as well. You see. 
Going backwards this time. It doesn't matter. Ooh, we're just adding a curve. Oh, onto each one. There we go. <laughs> oh, Sue, you're not late. We've hardly started. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, tomorrow's going to be uh, a little busy. We've got a full class tomorrow. It's going to be fantastic. Lots of people getting in and tangling together. It's going to be lovely. And uh, just sort of working my way around it. So we've got that kind of shape. Okay. And again, if you feel that you want to rub this out at this point, you can do. But uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. I don't think I need to worry too much about it. Let's have a look. <laughs> All right. So there's our, our first little bit. So moving on then. So I'm going to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little bit of a little aura just on the inside there. There we are. Now I'm just taking my time and following the shape round because I want to try and keep that shape if I can. But again, if you want to use a shape to draw around, it's absolutely fine. You can do that. And it's uh, just sort of working it around. Don't worry if it's not quite right. It's bit of a bubble. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna create a grid in here, but I'm not gonna do it completely straight. I wanna slightly curve it. And uh, not too much, just slight curves. Working my way around. Maybe a little one there. <laughs> Sorry, Sue, that's gonna be, yeah, we're gonna have a great time, all prepped here. All, all of us are going to be in this weekend. You see, I'm just creating this little slightly curved grid design there. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to just bring in a little square where each of these little lines cross and just fill it in. So a nice little tangle to do this is. And it just gives it that a little bit of an effect as we were working our way around. There we go. See, just little squares you could uh, put uh, dots in. Oh, hello, Palm, you're in the right place. Welcome to the crazy people's tangling session <laughs> on a Friday afternoon. Now, you do have to be a little bit crazy, I think, to uh, <laughs> be here, but... We love it. We love it. Yeah. Oh, then I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps I'd give him a call and just check that. Just to be sure. Where? You see, just working my way around. And along. Just sort of enjoying the... Filling the ink with the, that black ink there. There we go. The design. Okay. Oh, hello, Lisa. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to come back in with my pencil, and I want to do a little bit of an aura around again. A little bit wider, you notice this time. And I'm going to go off the tile. I know that. That's fine. So work my way around. There we go. So. It's going to go off. It's, it, it's planned that way. That's fine. Okay. There we are. And then uh, maybe I'm going to put another smaller one. Just around the outside there. Okay. And then working it all the way around. And it to, there we go. Okay. So I want to split this area up now. And I think doesn't matter where we do it, so we can sort of do it here. So half and half. And if I turn it around, see half and half again. And then I'm going to split it in the middle. And then in the middle. And then again, I'm going to split each one in two. Again, you don't have to do this dark because we don't need to see these pencils. 
Oh, Lynn. Well, happy anniversary, Lynn. It's fine. Oh, we're getting our bees boxes and things and our create art projects now. I'm hoping to do a little bit. Or oh, I was going to plan on doing a little bit of the create art project live. But, of course, I've been a little bit out of the system. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take each section. And I'm going to start in the middle there. Now, it's up to you. You can do a straight line. You can do a curved. Or you can do a double curve. Here we go, double curve. First one way, then the other. So I'm going to imagine that's where it's going to go. All right, so here, look, I'm going to go that way. Worry about that in a bit. And then double curve, one way, then the other. And then one way, then the other. And I'm just sort of going to follow that round. One way, then the other. Oh, I'm joining it there. Then the other. Okay, you see my, my curves are getting a little bit too broad. I want to sort of shorten it at the top a little bit. But hey ho, it goes as it goes. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we've got this sort of shape here. Okay. And there. Let's do it the other way around now. This is where it gets tricky. Doing it the other way. Yeah, I find that mine sort of dig in a bit more there. But I don't think it matters. It's uh, Everybody's got their own way of doing it. There we go. And uh, they're all going to look slightly different, but that's fine. And of course, we, if you're right-handed, you might find that the left-hand side is uh, where you start. and It's got a different curve, but again, it doesn't matter. There you go, here I've got sort of one there, maybe one going in there, see, and around there. There we go. So I've got this kind of a design at the bottom there, okay? All right, so next bit then, I'm going to work within these little shapes here. Start in the middle with a loop. And then I'm going to do a loop either side. And then either side again. And then any space I've got left, I'm going to fill it with ink. There we are. And just sort of work my way round. There we go. Let's do another. Along the middle. And then both sides. There we go. And you sort of get into your stride with these. Now, if you want to go around and draw your loops first, that's absolutely fine, and then come back and fill in the areas if you want to do them as you're going. That's fine too. Let's see what we think. I'm going to draw a couple this way. There we go. And let's see how I feel about that. Do I want to fill it as I'm going? I don't know. Let's do a couple more. This seems to work quite nicely. You get into the flow of putting those little loops in. rose maybe yeah posh sunflower i suppose if i'd done it on a yellow tile or one of the earth kind of colors then that's what we would have got looks a little different on the blue or maybe i use a yellow instead of a white to um, add some highlights or maybe we should have done a red one shouldn't we for lynn and her anniversary be quite nice wouldn't it See, I, I've got into the mode of doing this now. See, I'm going to have to go back and fill them all in afterwards. I think this is nice. A nice way of doing it. Uh, the same in this way. And uh, working my way around. See here, I'm just going to sort of imagine a little bit of it. I'm not going to go over the top too much. There we go. And another one sort of here. There we go, getting that in. And then into this one. All right. So now I'm going to go and fill all those little gaps in there. So 
we going to get? I mean, you don't have to use the black ink. You could use any colour if you want. Oh, Chris, are you using pink? <laughs> oh, sorry, Pam, if I'm a little bit fast, please don't think you've got to keep up with me. Just sort of uh, come and go and pause and mute as you need to. It's, it's going to stay here on this page. I know it's not on the regular, but at least it's here. There we are. Did anybody notice Leslie's pink hair this morning? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I know Sue. So I'm allowed a few. I've got a few red tiles. She's not pinched them all yet. Okay. She's downstairs packing them um, kits for tomorrow. <laughs> so if you think you're getting any red tiles tomorrow, not so sure. Yeah, this is working quite well, isn't it? Going around and filling this in after. I feel like I'm sort of getting into my stride and working my way around it. There we go. Oh, hey, Sam. No, traffic can be a nightmare, can't it, tires? We know that we get stuck here. If we, if we leave the premises about half past three, everybody else is trying to leave as well. Oh, I think the worst is... Um, Maybe how about half past five? Because then you actually sit, you get into your car and you can't move because <laughs> you can't even get off the estate. And so we try and gauge it, really. And uh, when we can leave. So we try not to get involved in that if we can. But yeah, it's certainly interesting, isn't it? Driving these days. Okay. So I'm gonna put another little one in there. I'm gonna color it all. Let's have a look at where we're at. Oh, happy birthday, Pat. There we are. Okay, so that's sort of where we, we're at so far. What I want to do now is I want to have a look at the space in between here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to use the guide. Let's go a bit bigger. There we go. See this top bit here? And I'm going to put a curve in. You see I'm touching the top there. So it doesn't matter which way you sort of you go which way you want to work that but you see up and around touching the top line there Ooh, bit of a wobbly one <laughs> there you are looking all around i'm going to see that one much oh that one now i will that one another line underneath there just giving it a little bit more of a design there or an enhancement oh Wendy yeah that would be nice <laughs> I don't think I'm quite ready to retire just yet too many more tiles to do <laughs> Just in case they have a few putting um, an order in over the weekend, it's going to be a little bit later coming out because uh, we're hoping to have a few days out of the office. I need to do a little bit of design work and Leslie's uh, off on a little holiday, so we, um, we're not going to be in for a few days. Adding some little bubbles to the top here. There we go. Just sort of on top of each of those little shapes there. There we go. Alright. It's not looking bad at all, is it? <laughs> okay. So let's have a look at these little spaces. Now I'm going to sort of draw that line in that we used as a construction. And then I'm going to create some lines first on one side and then on the other. And turn around. Rose, yes, it's on the side. I don't know if Leslie has already been to the post and done it or whether it's uh, there ready to go, but I have remembered, yes. We did, we wrote a list at the beginning of the week, so. 
you for reminding me because sometimes I do forget. There we go. And again, this one. Just sort of adding lines either side. No rush. And same here. Let's do this one. See, I always sort of first one side, then the other. I think if you start in the middle, it gives you a little bit of a, a, a better start, and you can sort of gauge the, the size or the, the shapes. It's a nice sort of little habit to get into as you work your way around. So I'm going to go up bank because I've got something to work to. And then with this one. There we go. Same this side. And then of course working my way round here. And this one. And then the last one in there. Okay. So last thing I want to do now, I've got this extra line here and we just, where we just drew that one in there. And I'm gonna put in a little leaf shape. And then I'm going to do a little one either side. And then again, a little leaf shape, and then a long. Okay. So I'm going to do that on every one now. So you've got this sort of little shape going on. And into there. The next one. Gives it that little bit of a finishing touch, doesn't it? So we're not after perfect circular shapes or anything like that. It's just enjoying the moment, really, and just sort of seeing where it builds. Yeah, just having these extra little details makes all the difference. And of course, let's do one here. And then along there. Okay, let's have a look. So, okay, the next little bit then, what I want to do is, I'm going to, let's just move out a little bit so we can see what, we, what we're doing. There you go. Okay, so we've got this lovely sort of design here, but what I'd like to do is just like, sort of bring a little bit around this shape here so I'm going to turn it round and put that in this top corner I'm going to work from this edge and I'm going to bring in a curve okay and then put a little curve on the top okay. oh Pam don't worry about it if you find that you're a, a little bit you know when you're drawing a bit large it's too small then stick some tiles together or there might be something coming that might help you in the, the near future. Well, that's all I can say. I've said too much already. All right. Uh, Glennis, as soon as um, Andy, who's done the website for me, gets back to me and explains to me how I can add an extra coloured tile, I'll do it there. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm going to have a look if I can... Um, Oh, let me think. I'll have a look if I can this evening and I'll see if I can get them on. I tried the other day, but I couldn't actually change the name. It just came up as some strange name. I thought you'll, ne <laughs> you'll never know what that is. So, uh, yeah. But they, they will be there. They, I have some in stock and they're all ready to go. So, okay. You see how I've sort of created this like cornery kind of design. I'm not going to go all the way sort of round to the edge but I want to make you know I want to make a space or a little statement of these uh, little shapes around the border there let's have a look maybe another one there and we'll have a look at that okay all right so next bit there I'm gonna come up and out Oh, I'll get round to it, Glennis, I will. 
And I know that the uh, setting up an account on the new website still needs a little bit of work, but uh, I'll, I'll get to it. Okay, so then another round from the same sort of point, you see? There to there. And then if I work around, getting a little bit smaller each time. There we go. And maybe let's do one this way as well. So you see, put in that little bubble and just fill in the sides. And then if I come around, and then and then along here. Have another one coming out and along here so you can make these stems as long as you want them to be you don't have to be really short you can be quite wide there we go along and up here maybe another one thank you leslie you're welcome there we go see each one getting a little bit smaller. And maybe here I'm going to put in a little bubble on the end. I'm going to fill that in. There we go. There we go. On that side too. I'm just going to have a look on this side. Bringing those little bubble in the side there and working my way around. I know Nadia, they're lovely, aren't they? And even if you do them really big, they look lovely. Or really small, just as nice. I do like it. You see here, it's sort of stopping there. So let's bring that sort of stem down just to make it look like it's fastened on something. And then if you want to, you could always um, bring in the, uh, the regular little guys. Yeah, maybe yeah. now I'm gonna have to put another one. Just a little one there, look. Just one in here, I think. I'm not gonna overdo it with them. There you go. All right, have a look at this. There we go. So I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'm not gonna complete, you know, the completely fill the space. We want a little bit of a gap there. So what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna come in with my pencil. And the first thing I'm going to do is fill in this area here around the, uh, the bubble in the centre there. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to be shy about that. I'm going to put some on. And then, of course, let's have a look at this. I'm going to put a little bit at the top and the bottom of each one. So you might find it, I don't know, if you want to go all the way around the top first. Or all the way around the bottom, it doesn't matter. And of course, remember, I didn't rub out my pencil lines there. You, if you want to do that, go ahead. It's fine. And I'm just going to work around creating these little bits of shading ready for getting the torture on out. Okay. So just take each one in turn. Just to Fill it in, top and bottom. Again, same with this one. Okay. And then here I'm going to add a little bit to the bottom of these. And there. Not too much on there because they're quite small considering. So. I don't want to fill the whole thing with graphite. It's just about giving it that little bit of a shade in the bottom there. Okay, all the way around. Okay, and I'm going to do the same in the middle here. Just sort of where those lines are. There we go. Same on this side. Okay. Now our little white lines here, what I'm going to do is add a little bit either side. 
There we go. Just see where that leads. Just want a little bit of a highlight in the middle of those, I think. But there we are, little bits in there. Okay. And then I'm not going to touch these. I'm going to leave those. But what I am going to do, I'm going to go a little bit larger. I'm going to just sort of add a little bit to the sides of those, but a bit on the stems. And then either side of those, if you can. Again, doesn't matter if these are all you know, on different sides, it's fine. You can put it wherever you like. Okay. All right. So let's uh, bring our torch on in. Looking for one I've got. Here we go. I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to soften the edge of that first. Okay, I'm not going to obviously, I've not touched the middle yet. I'm going to come in with colour for that, I think. And then softening off these uh, little shapes here. And you see, I'm leaving a gap in the middle. I want to try and keep that for the highlight. And then either side, just giving it a little bit of a soft edge there. You see, just sort of neatening them off a little bit. There we are. And there. No need to rush, you know, you can take your time. And if you can't keep up, please don't try. It's, it's fine. I'll, I have a certain amount of time to get this done in. And, uh, I want you to sit back and enjoy it, so don't think it's got to be done at the same time, at this pace. You, you take your time, so I'm going to do that one at the same time, and maybe those little uh, edges as I'm going. So keep my tile in one place a little bit longer. Okay. Alright, this is the my time there, just adding these little softer edges. And just sort of work your way around, just no rush. There we go. This is quite nice, isn't it? I like doing this bit. Of course, everybody does, I know. It really makes a difference to what you've drawn. Of course, you know, it depends how dark you go with it as well as to how three-dimensional it can look. Um, sometimes, you know, if you think you look at it and you think, oh, I could do with a little bit more three-dimension, then come back in and do it again. It's no big deal. You see here, I think I'm going to miss the lines there. So just needs a little bit of something, okay? And there. Sort of here, I'm gonna soften these edges off. Not much, I don't want it all consuming those little shapes. Just want to do little bits there, okay? And the same on this one, you see, and then just a little bit down the stems there that we did, yeah, little bits. There we go. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna bring in my uh, my white pencil now. So this is my, uh, I'll bring the chocolate to sharpen it a little bit, but I'll get around to it. And then I'm gonna put a little bit in the middle of these little spaces here. And there. Uh, just want it, to, you know, to bring that highlight out a little bit more. All the way around, keeping that angle. There we go. Okay, and then similar, sort of just on the top of these here. Very little amount on the bottom of those. You main three, yeah. But you see, it just changes it, doesn't it? How you work it round. I mean, it would be really nice. You could bring your, your J 
gel pens in with this. See these little uh, bubbles here on the top? Look lovely with a little bit of metallic on there. So, I've got them with me right now. That's okay because I'm looking at putting a little bit of pasta on. Oh, Sam, I know, doesn't it make a huge difference? Just adding this little bit on. Okay, so you see we've left a little bit at the top there as well. If you can get in there. See, just a little bit. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just want to do a little bit. Okay, and then uh, at the, the middle of these. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at this. The difference there. So I'm just going to bring in um, the tortillon. You see the little bits just on the edge? I'm just going to ever so gently soften those highlights in there. I don't really want to blend it seriously into the, the graphite there, but it just needs a little bit touch up there or maybe you know just sort of anything that you think needs a little bit of softening doesn't need all of them there maybe just the odd one okay so now we're coming to the middle bit here and I'm not done anything on here yet so what we want to do I'm going to bring in a um, blue pastel -y pencil very similar blue and I'm going to come in and add some over the top, see, a round shape there. Okay. Maybe I've uh, got a little bit of purple as well. I'm going to add a touch at the bottom edge there. Okay, let's go a little bit bigger so you can see. See, it looks a bit of a mess, but don't worry about it. And then I've got a white pastel. I'm going to bring a little bit of white in the top here. Okay, now the trick is, there we go, is to very gently sort of swirl and soften. I'm going to go with the lighter blue first. See, maybe just a little bit of softening of that white there. there and then around in that purple. I'm going to push the purple sort of into the blue there. So you get lots and lots of bits of dust here, but don't blow them till you're finished. And make sure you've blended those together with that tortillon. There we go. All right, and then we can blow. <laughs> there you go. All right, now you've all been wanting to do that. <laughs> Last thing then is um, I'm just going to come back in with my pen and where we've got this sort of curved line here i want to do is bring a little bit more you see not all of the line just a little bit of the line bring it to the forefront you see i so said not all of the line just a little bit of it just where it curves all the way around we sort of keep keep going Take your time with this. There we go. One more to do. Makes a bit of a difference, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, Wendy, you've got time. I'm going to do the same at the top. See, just on that top there. There we go. Sort of a little bit. I think if you do it all, it looks like you've drawn around it and then you've You've got like a, this black outline, which is fine at, on occasion, but sometimes you want just a little bit of something that's going to help you uh, make it look a little bit more 3D in places. All right, let's have a look at that. Okay, you see the difference that's made, just having that little bit in there. I think what I am going to do is I just think it needs a little bit of shading. 
again you know you can get rid of the the line around the outside if you want to but, uh, i'm not going to worry about it today but, uh, i think i do need a little bit of pencil around there maybe that'll blend in okay sometimes you have to sort of stop and look at these things before you put too much on okay so that's sort of blend it in a little bit so uh, you know sometimes leaving some lines in helps but other times you, you want to get rid of them and go from there so you see, I'm going over that. I mean, if you wanted to then go in with your, your gel pens, you can do that. But let's a little bit of a shadow there, maybe. There we go. So I'm just sort of broadly working it round, just to get a little bit of shadow in there. Maybe a little bit more there, so. And then the last thing too, I'm going to come back in with that... Um, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna use the purple, and I'm just gonna add in a little bit of purple on the top of those, just sort of like a little part of it, not completely fill it, just part of it. There we go. And then back with the white again, I'm using the white pastel at the pack as well, and just sort of uh, add a little highlight on the edge there. There we go. And same with those. There we go. Okay, so apart from our signature now, and uh, I'm just going to put it right down here in the bottom. There we are. There's our tile for the weekend, done and sorted. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. I might just come in and just add a little bit of black back around that. I'm not going to go over the the pastel because it doesn't like the fine liner <laughs> just that little bit there we go so okay um have a bit of fun with this you know, if you come into uh, to class this weekend let's have a look at what you've done but if not post it uh, i might not be able to see it for <laughs> a few hours but i'll get through and i'll have a look at them all so um, yeah please please can can you continue to do that and you know look after everybody on there so, okay, uh, if, uh, again, if I'm seeing you at the weekend, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, if not, have a lovely weekend, everybody. Enjoy the sunshine and, uh, yeah, uh, take care. Okay, I'll hopefully be back on my own page next week. So, I will see you then. All right. See you, everybody. Bye.